Hello and welcome to the Snakemake 101 tutorial series where we're going to go from zero Snakemake knowledge to not zero Snakemake knowledge. Um, by the end of these video series, you should be able to create a snake file and have stuff run successfully and start being able to adapt that to your workflow. The purpose of these videos is to actually do some hands-on training with it instead of just telling you the merits of Snakemake, which is you know reproducible workflows that you can move across systems and it's great for publication. Um, but we're going to be doing this together and starting from scratch. So the reason I'm making these videos is because Snakemake has a very steep learning curve and it can be kind of unforgiving at times. No, no, no! All he did was change the font! Ah. So what is Snakemake? Snakemake you could think of as a dialect of Python or some sort of software module within it in which you can describe an entire workflow and instead of reading the file top to bottom and executing it line by line in the way that we're very familiar with with scripts, you create a bunch of rules with these specific parameters in it, which we're going to call keywords for the sake of clarity in this video. And then it decides which rules are dependent on which other rules based on their inputs and their outputs, which you will specify. And then it runs stuff. And Snakemake does some really exceptional things like letting you auto-parallelize certain rules. It will also not run stuff if the files from the outputs are already present. And a bunch of other like really nifty features that make it really pleasant to use once you've figured out how to use it. We're going to be working together to build pieces of a Snakemake workflow together and have it run successfully. And it's going to be completely neglectful of any specific research discipline. We're just going to be modifying and creating some files using common tools. What you're going to need for this tutorial is a editor of some kind, and we're going to be using VS Code. And we're also going to need a Unix-like system. So that includes Linux, that includes Mac OS, and you could be using uh, what I'll be using, which is Windows Subsystem for Linux on Windows, um, I don't recommend it as a workflow, and during the video you'll see that there were some errors that were kind of specific to the thing that I was using. However, it is a plausible solution for what we're going to do. And so the first thing that we need to do is to install Snakemake. Our first order of business is obviously to install Snakemake, and we're going to do that inside of a Conda environment. So we're going to create a new Conda environment, and then we're going to install Snakemake into it at the same time. Doing it this way, avoids some of the issues that we can sometimes get depending on Python 2 or 3, and it just makes sure that at the moment of creation that we're installing Snakemake right into the environment. And the command is very simple. We're going to do conda create-n and give it the name snake, and then specify the channel bioconda, which is where you can find Snakemake, and then specify Snakemake. And once we press enter, it's going to collect all the information, tell us the packages that it needs to install, just like regular conda stuff, we're going to say yes, and voila, it is installed. And now we can casually activate the environment just like the prompt says. Another thing that we would want to do is to install the PyDot and GraphViz packages. These packages will allow us to visualize our Conda workflow, which we will be doing later on. So in order to install that, we first have to activate our Conda environment. Conda activate snake. If you're using a different version of mini conda or anaconda, you may need to do conda source. And then we're going to conda install, and we're going to specify the anaconda channel, and pydot and graph viz. I spelled that wrong, graph viz. I super spelled that wrong, graph viz. In the next video, we're going to be talking about using the integrated terminal in VS Code, and that's how we're going to do the command line stuff. We're going to create our snake file and our project directory, and we're also going to put some rules in and discuss rules and their keywords.